Laser sights increase confidence regardless of experience level, whether you're learning the fundamentals or overcoming aging eyes. Crimson Trace, making laser sights standard equipment. Visit crimsontrace.com to find a dealer near you. This is Tom Gresham's Gun Talk, now available on iTunes and other podcast clients and on the free Gun Dealio smartphone app for iPhone and Android. Feel free to call Tom now at 1-TOM-TALK-GUN or 866-825-5486 or email Tom at GunTalk.com. Now, once again, here's Tom. Hey, welcome back to Gun Talk. Tom Gresham here, 866-TALK-GUN. Sometimes you just can't... You just can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Do you remember, was it three years ago now, Vice President Joe Biden talking about guns. He said, well, he's, he's a gun guy, you know, he's a gun owner. He says, but really told his wife, says, all you need is a double barrel shotgun. That's all you need to protect yourself. And what you do is if you hear something going on or you're afraid of something, you take your gun, you go outside, you fire it in the air. No, really, I'm not making it up. Joe Biden says the the only real defense you need with a gun is to be, you need a gun, you don't need more than two shots, and the way you defend yourself is you go outside, you shoot it into the air. Okay, so uh, Shotgun Joe is speaking again. He says that the, the church shooting in Sulphur Springs, Texas, where... Stephen Williford grabbed his AR-15, ran barefoot to the church, shot the bad guy, stopped the murders, and eventually stopped the whole thing. When asked about it, former vice president said that Williford should not have been allowed to own an AR-15. He said, well, quote, first of all, the kind of gun being carried he shouldn't be carrying. Okay, Bad guy's got an AR-15, and according to Joe, what you need is a double-barrel shotgun, and the way to stop him is to shoot your gun in the air. So, let's carry that logic forward. Let's take the guns away from the police. No semi-automatic handguns. No semi-automatic patrol rifles. Double-barrel shotguns for all the police. And if they're just going to shoot in the air anyway, let's just get blanks because all we need to do is make a loud noise. According to the idiot, former vice president who really, 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 really wants to be the president. He would really like to be in the running for president next time around. Line four, Rick's with us out of Salina, Kansas. Hey, Rick, Rage Report, what's going on? This week... I bought a pistol. I wasn't planning on buying one, but I seen Remington had a $100 rebate if you bought one of their pistols. Okay. So I did. I got an RP9. Uh, never shot a 9 millimeter before. Uh-huh. But it took it out to the range. I shot a box and a half of rounds through it as all. Um Wife and I are cowboy shooters, so anything over 30 ounces on the trigger is too much. But okay. it, this doesn't need a trigger job for you to keep it and enjoy it at the range. Hmm. It, it said, according to the Internet and some of the other reviews, it's about a five-pound pull, five pull. So it was. it impressed me. I, I was happy with it. Let me put it that way. All right, I am curious because you did not intend to buy this gun. Did it just like make you buy it? Well, a hundred dollar rebate has a fair amount of <laughs> persuasion. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I like you it. know, the bottom line is even after fees and taxes, uh, where I got it through, I mean I've it was a little over three fifty and plus I get a hundred dollar rebate. So, so you're going to be no into range. it for about two fifty. Yeah, I can't beat that. Well, that's nice, and obviously you don't want a uh, a real light trigger on your self defense gun. So, and no. this is primarily a self defense firearm, although it's fun at the range. 
Well, that's pretty cool. You know, it is the time of rebates. I'm looking right now. Uh, in fact, here's another one from Remington. $50, $50 rebate on the 786 rifle. It is amazing. All of the different deals that are out there, uh, range of, you know, the rebates, the price cuts. By the way, if and look, I appreciate the call, sir. Thank you. If you're wondering, well, how do I, how do I know about all these? How can I learn? How can I take advantage of? Them? Well, that's easy. You put our our app. We have an app for that, <laughs> and it finds you the deals. It lets you know about all the deals. It's called Gun Dealio. D E A L I O. G U N D E A L I O. All one word. Gun Dealio, and it, it works on iPhones. It works on Androids. It's free. You put it on there, and you can look for deals. You can see, you know, what does Stag have? What does Smith & Wesson have? What does Springfield Armory have? What does Ruger have? And then, as an additional thing, when you go into a store, you may get an alert that says, hey, there's a special deal available right now for you. So it, it's pretty smart. It does the geolocation thing. It knows when you've gone into a gun store. It's pretty smart. And when you get it, here's the thing. you got to turn on the notifications. Otherwise, why have it? Because you want it to tell you when there's a deal. Or sometimes, and we do this sometimes, here's something that you may not know. Sometimes a store in your area will have a special, and we will send out what's called a push alert. All it is is a notification to everybody who has Gundelio in that particular geographic area. It says, hey, uh, the XYZ store is having a special sale on Saturday on this thing. And then you're going, whoa, I, I would have missed out on that. So that's what Gundelio is all about, and that's how you take advantage of it. We spend all this time running down these rebates, specials, discounts, you know, buy a pistol, get two extra magazines, et cetera, et cetera, send this coupon in. We do all that stuff for you. And then you just put Gundelio on your phone, and it will alert you to all that. Now, remember, when you put it on there, you got to you know, turn on the notifications. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you have already, if you have Gundelio on your phone, you have to do the update. There's a new version out. The old version is going to stop working, like real soon. So you need to put the new version on, update your gun dealio, okay? Fair enough. All right, our number here is 866-TALK-GUN. I want to get Stu in here. He's on line three out of Georgia. Stu, what you been shooting? Yeah, well, you know, I took your advice. I didn't have 500 rounds to uh, experiment with the pistol. So I just kind of worked the action dry for a couple of days. And I've got the R51 Gen 2. And uh, by the way, Remington on the phone was so nice to me. They sent me $50 worth of uh, magazines. And I put those mags in there. And the only problem I ever had with the R51 Gen 2 was the magazines. And I'm telling you, I am, I am in love with this handgun. I, oh. It is so intuitive. It shoots so nice and flat. I, I've owned Gen 2 Glocks. I've owned uh, SIGs. I'm not that good with those guns, but my intuitive shooting with this gun is amazing and very accurate. So you did the deal of rather than shooting it 500 times, you sat there and worked the slide and just keep working it, working it, and letting it break in that way. Butter smooth. You would not believe how smooth this action is. It is gorgeous. It is amazing. When you were doing that, were you uh, dry firing at the same time? Not once in a while, but mostly I just sit there watching your YouTube videos, which are excellent. <laughs> and I just worked that slide. And I just had the best time ever. And now this gun is absolutely perfect. I want everybody at Remington to know they've got a real hit here. And if they want to bring back the, the 380, that would be okay, too. I would love that. Interesting, because, you know, of course, there was this uh, troubled history, recent history with the R-51, so I am delighted to get this uh, positive range report. Yeah, and, you know, it, it's not even about the sights. I can just point my finger, and that bullet goes where I want it to go. That's how good this gun really is, Tom. It just fits your hand well. Stu, thank you for so much. That is a great range report. Tell you what, we're looking for your range report. If there's something that you have been shooting, something you think about buying, or you're trying to figure out, Tom, what do I need? 10 millimeter, 380, 
357. Well, we'll help you with it. Give me a holler. We'll talk about it. We're just a bunch of us sitting around a stove here in uh, the campfire talking about guns and shooting and everything else. Our number is 866-TALK-GUN or just dial Tom Talk Gun. Be right back. Double Tap Ammunition. Loaded with quality components, hand inspected, and made in the U.S. Offering 481 loads in 82 calibers. Find your next shot at DoubleTapAmmo.net. DoubleTapAmmo.net. There's only one place where you can buy that firearm you've always wanted and turn it into your very own. That place is Brownells.com. Now offering a huge selection of firearms from all your favorite brands. Brownells is the spot to buy online. When you're choosing your gun, be sure to look over the enormous selection of parts, accessories, ammo, and more to make that firearm your masterpiece. Brownells.com. Serious about firearms. Face it, sometimes more is better. That's the idea behind the double-stack, full-capacity pistols from Springfield Armory. From the groundbreaking XD to the ergonomic XDM to the latest refinements in the XD Mod 2 series, you can get subcompact, midsize, and full-size pistols in 9, 40, and 45. Carry, target, or tactical models. Fast, accurate, dependable. Don't come up short when it matters. Go full cap. Go Springfield Armory. Springfield-Armory.com This land, once wild and free, fades now from our memory. But I remember what it was like, what we were like, what we are capable of. When we band together, perhaps more than any other landscape, wetlands embody the life-giving abundance that nature has to offer. And perhaps more than any other organization, Ducks Unlimited is working to ensure that our continent's wetlands not only survive, but thrive for generations well beyond this one. These natural wonders are where waterfowl begin their cycle of life, with the deer and the antelope play and where we, the people, gather together to see and share what makes the outdoors so great. The time is now to band together with organizations like Ducks Unlimited. The time is now to rescue our wetlands. Cold defense ammunition, manufactured by Double Tap. Real defense ammo, designed with maximum effectiveness in mind. Have confidence in the performance of your defensive ammunition with Cold Defense by Double Tap. Available at your local retailer today. Well, 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 out of Madison, Wisconsin. Interesting story. Children of any age can hunt in Wisconsin after Scott Walker, Governor Scott Walker, signed a bill. That eliminates the state's minimum age. I would call that a plus. A lot of kids, uh, youngsters, are ready to hunt at 8, 9, 10. Uh, Really, it's up to the parents to figure that out. And frankly, not up to the state because the state doesn't know the kids anyway. So good on you, Governor Scott Walker. I like that. Let's see here. Uh, Man, 62. Fatally shoots intruder in northeast Baltimore. A 62-year-old man fatally shot an intruder who broke into his northeast Baltimore apartment and tried to rob him at knife point. Hmm. Resident told police the intruder had a knife and demanded money, and he was able to get to a firearm and shot once. The robber, armed robber, was 28 years old. Police said the shooting is being investigated as a case of self-defense and has been referred to the state's attorney's office. Works for me. Oh, yeah, in Sarasota, Uber driver shoots a passenger in self-defense, deputies say. Happens every day. Happens all the time. Good people using guns to save lives, to save themselves, to save other people. Happens every time, every, all, of, all over the place. And we do have stories on it, but you really have to hunt it down. And the national media will pretend it doesn't happen. You have to go to the local stories for that. By the way, if you want to, if you, if you like tracking that kind of stuff, there's a website, uh, keepandbeararms.com, and they have reports of that uh, every day, keepandbeararms.com. Now, Bubba has a problem. He's on line two. Uh, Bubba, what's going on with your shotgun here? 
Oh, I appreciate you taking my call. I mm-hmm. have a, actually, I'm just getting back from another duck hunting trip, and I continue to have issues with uh, most shotgun rounds in my uh, Super Black Eagle Benelli. Um, I can, and they're three and a half inch loads, of course, you shoot and steel shot. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Winchester, and I can't I remember which one it is, but it's the Red Shell, will cycle through the gun. Pretty much perfectly, but every mm-hmm. other round, or all the other rounds, and I've tried, and I'd love to use the heavy metal or heavy steel loads, uh, hang up. Uh, every shot hangs up, and mm. uh, I was wondering if you've heard of that problem before and what you might recommend. How do other, uh, do you, have you shot any uh, three inch or two and three quarter inch shells in it? Well, uh, yes, interesting, and I've, I've noticed that I went pheasant hunting up in South Dakota uh, last week, and I did have, a couple of times, I had some two-and-a-half-inch rounds hang up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But most of those cycled okay, but I did have a couple of times when they hung up. All right. Uh, The obvious questions, i got to run through these, okay? Uh, Have you taken that gun, really taken it apart, and cleaned it really well? I have. uh, I've cleaned it well. I've taken the the, I guess it's the recoil mechanism from the stock, mm-hmm. taking it out, cleaned it. It seems to be, you know, fine. The uh, When you push on the, the piston, it seems to slide fine. I haven't taken it to a gunsmith, and that's actually what I was considering. I didn't know if, if that would be a... Uh, you know, something that might resolve that problem or it, not. It might, but I'm going to suggest one other thing, and it's kind of okay. my go-to position on this. Uh, why don't you call Benelli? Ah, I thought that. I guess that would make sense. Well, they know the gun better than anybody else, and they've seen everything that can happen with them, and they're going to ask you a few questions, and they may have a suggestion that they're going to go, you know, it's probably this thing, whatever that thing is. And it may be a part that they send you. Or it may be a thing they say, well, check this out. And they go, oh, yeah, well, you put the Fremizammer on there backwards. And you're going, oh, okay. So I, that would be my first thing. I would call Benelli. Uh, okay. They want they want you to have a gun that works well. And that's, you know, that's not a, an inexpensive shotgun. That thing is a real yeah. quality piece of, of gear. That should work. Yes, yes, that's, that's my thought exactly. I, hadn't, I don't know why I hadn't thought of calling them, uh, but I will do that. That's a great suggestion. Yeah, give them a holler and see what happens. If When you get it worked out, give us a holler back. Let us know what, what you found out, okay? I will. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate that. Uh, line one, Phillips out of Houston, Texas. Hey, Philip, you are on Gun Talk. Yes, uh, just had a uh, quick comment about uh, when politicians are asking us to compromise all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things I was thinking about was, when uh, a lot of the laws they're trying to get, or I guess bypass laws that allow suing gun manufacturers for mm-hmm. actions of a few, uh, I'd love to throw out there that yeah, okay, we can do that if we you allow us to sue Budweiser for uh, drunk driving issues. Uh, we, In other you know, words, we never happen. What they want is for us for for people to be able to sue gun companies for the misuse of a product that is not defective when a third party takes this gun and uses it incorrectly, unsafely, or even feloniously, we want to be, they want to be able to sue the gun maker to put them out of business. And what you're saying is, okay, if that's where you want to go, let's apply the same logic to everything. You should be able to sue any manufacturer because anytime anybody misuses it, like maybe these guys that will use a lawnmower, a push lawnmower, and pick it up and use it to try to trim hedges with it, you know, yep. and they cut cut their hand off. Well, you, that shouldn't be allowed. It sh- you know, you should design that in such a way that's not possible. And I think where you're going with this, and I agree with you, is that they would look at that and go, "Well, that's ridiculous." Yes. To which we would say, "Yes, we agree with you." <laughs> exactly. And and the other one, and I I had to look it up. Uh, uh, Australian style gun control. They seem to like that so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought, well, okay, we can do that if. You implement Australian style immigration policy. I mean, <laughs> Australia has 25 million people in the entire country. Texas has more people than that. So, again, you know, like they'll never do that. Like it, you know, yeah. it's, it's just. And, so and I know, I know you know this, but obviously, what they're not—they're not trying to do anything about gun accidents or gun crime or gun misuse. What they're trying to do is to destroy 
ownership of firearms. And if they can get, and let me just go over this again for those who aren't quite getting it, all they need is one court case to succeed. They had 30-plus lawsuits back 20 years ago when the cities were using taxpayer dollars to sue gun makers for the misuse of guns by criminals. And all they had to do is get one of those to succeed, and every gun company in the country would have closed its doors because nobody could afford insurance. Well, they couldn't have gotten insurance for that kind of a thing. You can't be held responsible for making a non-defective product, a good product that does that works the way it's supposed to, and then somebody goes and misuses it, and all of a sudden you're responsible for it. But that is, of course, the end goal. They want to destroy gun makers, which would destroy the gun industry, which would make it impossible for you to buy a new gun in the United States. That's what this is all about. It has nothing to do with liability. And they always say, well, you know, it's the only industry that has you know complete protection against liability. No, it doesn't. The law says, and look, thank you for your call. For those who don't know, the law says, we're talking about the Protection and Lawful Commerce and Arms Act. It says that if a company makes a defective product, they can be held liable. If the company engages in negligence, they can be held liable. If, and the same thing of gun dealers. But if they follow the law and they make a non-defective product, that is, they make a product that works the way it's supposed to, it's not unsafe, then you cannot hold them legally responsible for the misuse of the firearm by a third party. I'll just say that most of us find that to be a fairly self-evident concept that you shouldn't be able to hold Budweiser or General Motors legally liable when somebody gets drunk and hurts someone else. Most people in the country would say, well, that's just ridiculous. And yet some of those same people would say, well, yeah, but we got to hold the gun makers responsible for what? I Look, I get the frustration. You're saying... We don't like it when people misuse guns. Great. But what they fail to understand is that we gun owners also don't like it. And we're hurt and saddened when people misuse guns. But we also understand you don't you can't affect that by going after gun makers. All you're gonna do is achieve the gun banner's dream of completely destroying gun manufacturing in the United States, which is at its core, and at the end, that is their goal. If you don't understand that, you don't understand those people. They really, truly are out to get rid of all the guns. Gun Talk encourages you to support the local sporting goods store, gun stores, ATV dealers, and other local businesses in your area who advertise on this station and Gun Talk. Only together can we protect our rights. You're listening to Washington Times Opinion Page regular contributor, Tom Gresham. All right, back with you here. Tom Gresham, it's Gun Talk. 866-TALK-GUN is our magic number here. If you'd like to join us, if you guys arrange a board or a question, or honestly, and I'm not making this up, if you just you don't get guns, you don't get gun owners, you think that we are callous and heartless and we don't care, or you hate guns, I'll give you the floor. I may ask you a question or two, but I'm not going to be mean to you. I'm not going to shout you down or cut you off. We'll just have a conversation. All right, fair enough? 866-TALK-GUN. We'll get you in here. It is that time of year, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, some stupidly good deals out there. Joining me to talk about some of those uh, is Nathan Engelking from Crossbreed Holsters. Hey, Nathan, how you doing, man? Hey, Tom, how's it going, buddy? Excellent. I just went to your website. I am knocked out. Holy cow, crossbreedholsters.com. Uh, first thing I see is this thing that says limited time, 50% off. 50% That's off? That's right. This week, for the rest of the, through the end of the day today, we've got our ankle holsters and reversible nylon belts, 50% off. So make sure to head over and get one. That does fall under the category of a stupidly good deal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. Get a good gun belt or a nylon holster for 50% off. Go to crossbreedholsters.com. And you say that's only today? That ends today? Yeah, that one ends today. And then we'll be starting our big Black Friday push over the next uh, this whole next week, all leading up to the biggest sale of the year for Crossbreed, which is our Cyber Monday deal. 
Holy cow. Well, so let me ask you, uh, you probably, kind of indirectly, but uh, you probably have as be- as good a feel as anybody as to the mood of the public when it comes to concealed carry, because that's the you know that's your bread and butter. That's what you guys make us really good concealed carry holsters. So, what are you guys seeing over the last few weeks or few months? You know, Tom, I think everybody's kind of been in the same boat. You know, gun sales and stuff have kind of slumped off this year. I think everybody got into a political environment where we're all a little more secure in our gun rights. But Mm -hmm. at the end of the day, people still acknowledge that concealed carry could save their life. And that's, you know, that's really the key point there. And as we're coming up on the holidays, I think you're going to see some great deals from companies out there bringing those people back in, including Crossbreed, of course. But, uh, you know, we actually just visited the Well-Earned Woman Conference a few weeks ago. And uh, Mm -hmm. let me tell you, what a great event more and more women getting to the into firearms is just amazing well you know what it is i mean they, they basically have just come to the realization that and they knew this all along that nobody's going to take care of them you know yep. somebody may come on and fill out a report but they're saying no you know what i'm just going to take care of myself i'm going to take care of my kids and then they're taking the next step which is really honestly the hard step it's one thing to realize it is another to go get the training buy a gun and make a commitment One of the things you guys do, and I just got to mention this, is it is more difficult, I think you would agree, for women to carry than it is for men, generally speaking. Yes, absolutely. It is because of the way that we dress. And so you Mm -hmm. you have some solutions for women uh, in the form of uh, whether you want to carry in a purse or you want to carry on your body, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got our purse defender system, which is great for women who maybe are having a hard time finding a way to cover, you know, to carry on body. You know, unfortunately, Mm -hmm. we hear in the news more and more stories of accidental discharges from firearms being carried in purses. So Crossbreed developed a solution a couple years back to make sure that gun is nice and secure in there. Um, But for on body, though, we also have uh, like our mini appendix holster is one that we designed with the female carrier in mind. Mm -hmm. And we also have our ladies reversible carry belt, which is still just a really great leather belt, but it's got a little more stylization for the female carrier. The other one that I think doesn't get as much attention as it should, I think more people ought to look into the whole belly band thing, and you guys have got some real options there. Yeah, absolutely. We we actually worked with Rob Pincus to help develop our modular belly band system a few years ago, and it's just gotten better and better. And what we've noticed is over the last, you know, probably year to two years that our female market really likes that holster. It's it's very comfortable and works with just about any sort of clothing that you're going to carry in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter winter, summer. Uh, if, you just, if you're wearing a top at all, uh, you can just drape it over a belly band, put a small gun in there, and it's pretty much invisible. Yeah, absolutely. We actually even had a story last week. You know, we, we talk about women carrying our modular belly band, but we uh, had a really great story of a gentleman out of, I believe, Austin, Texas last week that actually used a crossbreed modular belly band to prevent a uh, young woman being raped on a walking trail. Ooh, man. Holy cow. I mean, you must get those kind of stories all the time from your customers. You know, unfortunately, unfortunately, we do. We love to hear that our customers are out there well protected and do what they can to protect the rest of the community. But it's just unfortunate how many of them we get. Well, it is, you know, but it goes to the fact that uh, a lot of people have looked at that and said, "Okay, that's happening enough to where I'm going to get serious about this. And part of that. And I've talked about this at length with people. I say, look, get the good stuff first. You're going to end up with the good stuff, and you need a belt. Please, please, please don't cheap out and just use a dress belt or a wide belt just because you think it's a, you know, it's wide enough. A gun belt is not just a wide belt, is it? No, no. You know, that's one of the biggest mistakes that we see, frankly, in the concealed carry community is, you know, people will spend the money and get a nice holster, and then they just think that their normal belt they're going to wear every day is going to work for them, and, and it really doesn't. And that's why Crossbreed has spent so much time developing, like, our executive belt and our crossover belt, where we're offering you a thick, you know, 12 to 14 ounce leather belt that still has the look that you could wear with a suit or a right. pair of jeans or just whatever your normal attire is. Seems like about once a week I get an email from somebody that says, Tom, I've been listening to you say this for years, and I really didn't pay attention, and I finally got a gun belt. Holy cow, I can't believe it. That really makes a difference. And then they always end up with, I was such an idiot for not listening to you. (laughs) (laughs) They should just listen the first time. It just makes it that much easier for them. Well, and then they they all say the same thing. This is so much more comfortable. Duh, hello, that's what I've been saying all along. Absolutely. 
Oh, my gosh. All right, so we've got uh, this cool 50% deal going on until the end of the day today, and then you're going to have deals every every day, but then the real things break, what, Black, Black Friday? Yeah, so we'll basically we'll run. Uh, we're going to have three deals pop up this week: Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Mm-hmm. And then uh, uh, Sunday night, about probably six p.m. Central, we'll kick off our Cyber Monday deal. Uh-huh. Like I said, Tom, that's that's the biggest deal of the year for us. So that's going to be your opportunity to get just some amazing discounts there. And since, since you're not telling me what they are, I'm assuming you you can't tell me what they are. Oh, that's that's top secret information. You'll have to head over to crossbreedholster dot com for that. That <laughs> sounds good. Nathan, you guys are, are great folks. You're making these things right here in America. Uh, we love your company. We love the family aspect of it. So just carry on. Absolutely. Thank you, Tom. We appreciate that. All right. Take care. CrossBeholsters.com. Good stuff uh, from good people right there in the middle of America. 866-TALK-GUN. We'll be right back with more gun talk. Why do hunters and shooters love the Ruger American Rifle? With right-handed and left-handed versions, all-weather, Magnum, Compact, Predator, Ranch, and Scope package options, there's a Ruger American for everyone. Lightweight with an adjustable trigger and minute of angle accuracy, Ruger American Rifles pack in the features. Is the Ruger American the best rifle on the market? See for yourself at your local retailer or at Ruger.com. That's Ruger.com. You got your carry permit, and that's good. But you know you could use more training. Get the DVDs, which have what you need. Springfield Armory presents Concealed Carry 1 and Concealed Carry 2 with Bata Group. Learn specific concealed carry skills from Top Gun fighting trainers. Get trained. Be prepared. This really is life and death. ShotgunTalk.com. That's ShopGunTalk.com. For more than 70 years, Timney Triggers has been enhancing the shooter's experience. Whether it's a local competition, a day at the range, or even the hunt of a lifetime, setting the standard in aftermarket triggers, Timney is now producing more than 170 models of triggers for bolt-action rifles, shotguns, AR rifles, and semi-automatic rifles. Proudly made in the USA since 1946. Find your new trigger at TimneyTriggers.com. Get ready for something totally new from LMT. A short personal defense weapon with an integral suppressor. Featuring new suppressor technology from Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, the CSW, or confined space weapon, has a 24-inch overall length profile and includes their new high-performance suppressor that can shoot supersonic and subsonic ammunition with no changes. Chambered for the 300 blackout, the CSW allows quick movement in tight quarters. For more, visit lmtdefense.com. All right, back with the 866 Talk Gun. I'm Tom Gresham. Uh, Tommy's on the line with us out of Bandon, Oregon, line four. Tommy. You got your gun, your wife a gun, and so I got her a EAA thirty eight special, and she loves it. And uh, mm-hmm. we're trying to figure out a way to get that nice, smooth, tr- smoother trigger pull out of a semi auto for under four hundred bucks. So Christmas is coming around, so I'm looking mm-hmm. to find her something. Well, that, I don't think it should be a problem. Uh, there are some really good deals out there right now, but I, I, I'm looking at the notes here. It says that, uh, did you find, and when you're checking semi-autos, you're finding the triggers are too heavy? Is that what I'm reading? Yeah, yeah. Usually, yeah, they're usually too heavy, or I can't find one with a hammer at the gun stores where I'm at for an for affordable price. Why do you want a hammer? Oh, I I'm have a misconception about it being smoother, <laughs> just because we're used to wheel guns. We trust me, it, tr- trust me, it's not. Therein lies your problem. Generally speaking, if it's got a hammer, it's probably a double action, single action with a uh, uh, a hammer release on it. And so, you, what you're going to find is you got a ten or twelve pound trigger pull on the first pull. Then after you shoot it the first time, then it's going to switch to a four pound trigger pull after that because the hammer's cocked. 
That's why you're finding heavy trigger pulls because you're insisting on a hammer gun. Forget that. Don't go with a hammer gun. Get a striker-fired gun. Okay, a non-hammer. Okay, so we had yeah. a Tar 709, mm-hmm. little snub nose, 9 millimeter, and it mm-hmm. was a harder trigger pull than her 38 or my 357 Magnum, and that's why we're kind of opted toward wheel guns because they're smoother for her. Okay, I'm, I'm going to give you some choices here, okay? Uh, I'm going to ignore price point for right now because you can shop for price. Uh, okay. Springfield Armory has the XDS. is in SAM. It's a single stack, 9 millimeter, and has a really good uh, single action trigger pull. It's a, a, a striker fired gun. Uh, could be in that ballpark, that price range. Uh, Smith & Wesson has the Shield, the MEP Shield, which I think you can definitely get in that price point. Same thing, a smaller Single stack, 9 millimeter with a really good trigger pull. And there, there's a, a one that you ought to take a look at. SIG, SIG Sauer, has hammer guns with really good trigger pulls because they're actually like little bitty 1911s. Uh, the problem you're going to run into there is those are not probably in the $400 range unless you buy used. But they are incredibly good. So if you insist on a hammer which I wouldn't, uh, that would be where I would be looking, something that's a single-action uh, hammer gun, so with, it will have a thumb safety. But okay, not, well, you yeah, know, I'm looking for your opinion. If I'm wrong, then, hey, I'll follow your opinion. I listen to you every Sunday. So. <laughs> I, I, I would, honestly, here's what I would be doing. I would be looking at something like a single-stack striker-fired gun. You're going to get a decent trigger pull. It's not going to be as fine as like a fine match pistol, but that's not what these are. These are duty guns. But you're going to have a... F- Four and a half to five pound trigger pull on a uh, an XDS from Springfield, a Shield from Smith and Wesson. Um, see what they, uh, the folks at Sig have. They have some options out there, but I think that's the ballpark. That's the neighborhood you need to be looking in. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Well, I wish oh. you luck with it. And once again, here's the thing: you do not get to pick the gun. Your wife has to pick the gun. So you go go to the store, let her try it. If they have a range, let her shoot them if you can rent them. But ultimately, you you, know, you can provide the money if that's what's going on, but you get out of the way and let her pick the gun, okay? Oh, yes, yeah, definitely. Now, <laughs> she, she likes what she likes, tell you that. <laughs> there you go. All right. Thanks, Tommy. I appreciate the call. Mark's on three out of Milwaukee. Hey, Mark, you're on Gun Talk. Hey, Tom. Hey, uh, just like you, I'm a left eyed right-handed shooter Mm -hmm. and uh, the question i have is do scopes or optics make a difference with that uh because if it does if it does then i'm going to have to retrain myself to shoot left-handed what kind of uh rifle are we talking about Uh, i'm talking i've got several scoped rifles Mm -hmm. and uh, several rifles that have iron sights uh old Mausers and that kind of thing. I like old military rifles. How are you Uh, shooting right now? Are you shooting right-handed or left-handed? I I, I grew up shooting right-handed. It's only been in recent years I realized that I need to start, uh, especially with the... um, especially with, with pistols and whatnot, anything mm-hmm. with iron sights, I definitely have to shoot left-eyed. Uh, so the question I have is, does it make a difference whether I have a scope on there? Can I still shoot right-eyed with my scope and mm-hmm. I still expect to get good hits? Yes. Or should I expect to get some kind of offset mount to the left so right. I can use my left eye? Yeah. Or no, should no, no, I no, plan do, on just retraining? Do not, do not get an offset mount. That's goofy. Uh, they're awful. Um, if you, you've been shooting all your life right-handed, keep shooting right-handed. You're probably just going to have to squint, close your left eye. Uh, on handguns, you can use your left eye shooting right-handed, which you probably have been doing all along. And that's what I do. Uh, I just line the gun up with my left eye and shoot it that way, even though I'm shooting right-handed. Uh, if you wanted to try to switch to left-handed, you could do that. I would have a gun, an unloaded rifle in the house, and I would pick it up 100 times a night, like 10 times at every TV commercial, and shoulder it, keep both eyes open, go to the left shoulder, the left shoulder, the left shoulder. After you've done that 1,000 to three to 5,000 times, it will feel comfortable going to the left shoulder. But barring that, you can shoot quite well with a scope with using your right eye by squinting or closing your left eye. It's not optimal. It's not the best. If you were a kid, I would say your parents need to start you out shooting from the left shoulder. But, hey, it is what it is, and that's where we are. So, yeah, I'd be looking uh, to do that way. It's going to work out no matter what you do. And, look, I appreciate that. Be safe out there. Be right back.
We're back with the 866 Talk Gun out of Tampa, Florida. We've got a church there, the River at Tampa Bay, a church in East Tampa. They got a sign on the door that's declaring that they are not, not a gun free zone. The pastor, uh, Alan Hawes, H A Y E S, says, We are heavily armed and any attempt will be dealt with deadly force. Says, If you think you are going to come here and do that, talking about these mass shootings, he says, this is a big deterrent for you because it is everywhere. It's not like we hide these signs. There are big signs, and it's going to tell these people we will protect our people, he said. He said, uh, I like this. He said, I believe if you look at the teachings of Jesus, Matthew, and different places in the scriptures, you will see it will get increasingly darker. Wars, rumors of wars, and people with not good intentions are going to look for a way to make a statement. He says they are ready for that. He says, as the political debate rages over whether more guns are making things safer, uh, he says, I would rather ruffle a few feathers or do I want to count bodies? I think the pastor has a pretty darn good point there. Richard's on line four out of Grants Pass, Oregon. Richard, what are you looking for? Yeah, I had a couple of questions as far as uh, coach guns go. Uh, my son, uh, He's 14. He's kind of larger stature, uh, you know, big kid for his age. Uh, mm-hmm. But he really, uh, he really likes shooting the 12 gauge. And uh, we had a buddy of ours that had a coach gun with the uh, internal hammers and two triggers. And uh, my son and uh, a couple of other kids were having a lot of fun trying to time it so that uh, both barrels were going off once for that, you know, big kick, big bang. And uh, we we're thinking about getting him a, a Stroger uh, double defense 12 gauge shotgun. Mm-hmm. Uh, which comes with a uh, sequential pull on the trigger, so, you know, right barrel and left barrel. But uh, right. I was wondering if there was any, uh, you know, uh, way of uh, modifying or changing it so that it would uh, fire both barrels at once. And then also, is there any safety issues with uh, pressure or anything like that, you know, shooting yeah. both barrels off once? Well, two things. W- w- one is that it would be illegal to make both guns go, both barrels go off at the same time with one pull of the trigger. That becomes a full automatic gun. Ha ha! Didn't think about that. But the other thing is, uh, those guns are designed and manufactured for the stresses involved in one barrel going off, not two barrels going off at the same time. Does it make a difference? I don't know. I don't want to find out. I don't want to be the the test dummy, the crash dummy on that one. I don't want a gun to blow up in my face. Uh, you certainly would wear out a gun more quickly doing it that way. Uh, yeah, I know a lot of people have done it. I've had a, uh, a double shotgun, a side-by-side double on me before. Kicks like a mule. Surprised the devil out of me. I don't want it to happen much. And, yeah, if you're a 14-year-old, you think that's cool and fun, but you'll get over that very quickly. I would offer that maybe if, if the Stoger gun is what you want, forget the whole trying to get both barrels to go off at the same time. That's You're chasing something I don't think where you want to go. Just my thoughts on it. Does that help? Yeah, I was just wondering about, because you were talking about Biden with the double barrel earlier, and that's something that me and my son have been talking about. And the uh, first time hearing the show, and I was real interested, and I was like, well, maybe, you know, get your opinion on it. But uh, I think either way, we're still going to get it. Uh, and then he wants those uh, inserts where you can uh, convert it down to twenty two caliber or, you know, 9 millimeter, 45. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, it's all fun. That's one of the things that's nice about uh, breech opening guns, over and unders and uh, side buys, is you do have the ability to put actually tubes in there. You can shoot other gauges. You get 12 gauge, you can shoot 20 gauge or even 410s in them. A lot of different things you can do, a lot of vari- uh, variations, if you will, with that. Part of the fun. All right, 866-TALK-GUN is our number here. If you give me a holler, we'll take your calls about, well, pretty much anything that has to do with guns. And if you just kind of driving down the road and you hit this show and you're wondering, what are those fools talking about? If you don't like guns, that's fair. Give me a holler. Let me know why. I will be quiet and let you have the floor. You can explain it to me. What's wrong with guns? What's wrong with gun owners? What is it that makes you nervous, worried, scared about guns? I'll give you the floor. 866-TALK-GUN. Range reports are always welcome. I'm Tom Gresham. We'll be right back with more Gun Talk. Gun Talk. 